here to show you how to change these texture files uh, for the not the lobby background. The lobby background is right here, and you're allowed to use those. Put these files here. Get your slot reel uh, icon spin in. You might want to change depending on your theme. And here's how to get it done. So start with a file. 1136640. You're gonna have some asset files because you're read, you know, you're watching this video right now. You're able to uh, also see the links on where to get this stuff. Again, this is the same size, and it's important that it is for you to quickly line it up and not have to do, you know, scaling and do grid lineups in Photoshop, or whatever. So anyway, select all, paste it. Okay. Now, if you select all, paste it right now, and click out of this and do it, this is not going to be lined up correctly. Now, select all again, and you're going to see here's kind of a little trick. Again, you can do this a lot of ways, but to do it quickly, see how these dots aren't lined up? These dots. So this is how it was. That would have been off. So I'm just going to bring it down here, and again. Do this other ways. It's kind of one of those, you can do a great job if you just take your time. So now I'm going to X out of that. So now I got this file here. What are you going to do with this? If you're in Photoshop, you could get rid of this pretty easy, but if you don't know how to do it, Photoshop, sometimes I just use a tool called clippingmagic.com. I believe it used to be free and now it's maybe a few bucks a month. But what I do is I drag and drop that in here and I green all the stuff I want and then I red the stuff that I do not want and I end up with this. The trick I do is when I start doing it, it's kind of hard to make sure you don't, that you're not missing anything here. I'll turn it to gray and then once I think I got it really good, I follow it around the edges to make sure when I turn it back here, transparent. And now all of a sudden I've got this good to go. So I hit download. I already had it there, but what the heck, I'll just download it again. So now I've got that. I got this file. PNG format. It's all grayed out. It's all good to go. It's all size. It's all scaled. Now I'm going to open Texture Packer. Now, this seems like it's difficult, but it's not difficult. I'm just going to put it here. I'll pay attention to all this. Just drag and drop, one thing at a time. Data file, you're not going to need the data file because you're going to be renaming it to uh, the same file that's already in there and you won't need it. So, you know, whatever you want to do, just to keep the program happy, it still does want you to put it somewhere. So I usually create a temporary file in that background. Hit enter. This is a PNG. We don't want it to be in a PNG. We want it to match what's in there. It's right there. Again, it doesn't really matter what this is going to be. This is going to be renamed. If you're putting it in a folder, you'll be able to find it. When you do some of the bigger sizes, even though they don't exceed this size, you might have to bump it up to 3,000 just to keep it happy. Publish, done. Minimize that. Now I'm going to go up to this folder. Now I've got this, which I'm not going to need. Now all of a sudden I've got that. So when you click on it and you have Texture Packer, you will be able to see everything that's going on here. And you're going to notice it's sized up a little bit. It's just something it does. And we've tested it a few different ways, and it still works great. So I'm just going to come in here, find my file. I guess just for the heck of it, I should show you. Four. There we 
get going on here. Looks really good. Lots of blue. Okay. Anyway, let's just pretend you've created your own new background, new theme. You've done it the quick way we've showed you. Renamed it to replace it. Now uh, you've got this in here, now you match this, whatever your, your theme is going to be. And again, we've done all this without using Photoshop and pretty quick. Here it is. Looks good. That's right. So, one thing to note, you've got four different sizes here. These files are going to be grouped together. This doesn't really have anything. So, we will provide a few different colors uh, for you to use, a few different styles of this file. There's really not a lot happening here. It's just a backdrop for your reels to spin in. But it's always the black or the darker image off after it matches you can tell by the names but don't get them mixed up because the sizes are important so along with getting you know this is your iPhone version specific size for that you will get sizes for um, everything you have to do here most likely it's just going to be an iPad HD no see that's not what we wanted there you go. See how it scales a little bigger? You'll get one for an iPad and then so you, you would take your your donor image or whatever it is your image is and you would scale it up to 2048 1536. Okay, original normal iPad HD sizes. And then you would come in and use are blank for that, sized for that, and you would copy it, and again when you copy it, remember to select all and line up the dots, okay? Then you would come in and duplicate that image, touch, adjust your size here, and then just go down to the 1024, 768, and now all of a sudden you've got your iPad sizes. And I believe it's the same with the iPhone. You would come in and do 144, 168, you already did that. So 5, let's just, for the heck of it, 578, 328. What is that, 578? Yeah, so I would go to that, take it off, put that up one pixel. So you're going to get two sizes, basically an iPhone HD, iPad HD, and then you scale those two to get half the sizes and repeat the process I already showed you and now all of a sudden you've got texture files that are going to save space they're custom to your theme you didn't even have to open Photoshop and you were able to use something that you can download for free and I'm sure there's other versions and other softwares this is just something we use thanks a lot